You've probably heard that type checking is considered a code smell. In other words, type checking is something that you should avoid in your program. And when I say type checking, I mean switching over what type something is. In other words, asking an object what type it is of and then making a de decision that's different depending on what type the object actually is of. Let's talk about why that is. So the answer depends on whether you're in a statically typed language or a dynamically typed language. Let's first cover dynamically typed languages because the answer is really simple. In dynamically typed languages, you should simply not be type checking because in dynamically typed languages, you should use duck typing. If you're not familiar with duck typing, I've got a whole nother video on duck typing, so do check that out. Now, let's talk about statically typed languages. You should not be performing type checking because if you're performing type checking, that means that you've at some point lost track of what type an object actually is of. Let me repeat that. It means that you've at some point in your program lost track of what type the object that you want to use actually is of. So, what do I mean? That means that you've at some point actually known the type of the object, but you've abstracted in a strange way, which means that you've now lost track of the type of the, of the object. Looking at it from a different perspective, consider this. Every cat is an animal, but not every animal is a cat. So in other words, what happens is that you are asking an animal whether it is a cat, which of course is understandable because if you want to treat it as a cat, you don't want to treat it as a cat in case it's a dog or something totally different. But the point is that you at some point did actually know that it's a cat and you've lost track of that. And so now you only know that it's an animal. To really drill that point in, Think about static typing. If you're switching over the type of something, you're not actually asking what type it is of. You are asking what subtype it is of. Because the fact that you have that object in that particular place in the program anyway, <clears throat> means that you had some type information about the object. In other words, you can't just accept anything unless of course you're accepting super general types in your program such as object, but then you're not really using the concept of static typing to your advantage anyway. And that's a whole nother discussion. But in other words, in your method, you've accepted a base type and now you're switching over which subtype of the base type this particular instance is of. So that means that you did in fact, because it has been instantiated, you did in fact at some point in your program know what particular subtype this thing was of, but you've lost track of it. Okay, I'll stop ranting now. I currently really believe that there are no cases where you actually need to switch over types. Again, because if you are switching over types, that just means that you have, you've architectured your solution incorrectly. It doesn't mean that the problem necessarily needs you to switch over types. If you have an example of some particularly tricky scenario, please do feel free to outline that in the comments and let's discuss that. But that's it for today. Be sure to mash that like button if you liked the video. If not, please let me know why in the comments. And if you want more stuff like this, be sure to subscribe. Right now.